to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Collector Car, Muscle Car Showroom, where we own all the vehicles in our dealership. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching us on YouTube, and a lot of you do, because we get calls a lot on cars that we have on YouTube, please be sure to check out hanksters.com. That is our website. That is where you can see uh, probably 80 to 100 still photos of this vehicle, high resolution still photos, as well as this video we're shooting for you today. When our cars are sold, they come down off of our website, uh, but they stay up on our YouTube channel at all times. So you could be watching a car that sold a week, two weeks, two years ago. The collector car, muscle car market is extremely uh, hot right now. And one of the vehicles that is a hot commodity is this GTO, 1967, uh, white in color. It does have a 400 motor in it. <clears throat> We have checked the motor, and um, based on the casting numbers, it is a period correct motor, 1967, 400 motor. However, um, there are no partial VINs on the block itself, so I believe it to be the original motor in this car, but we can't prove it. It's just a day code correct, 1967, and that's what we're going to advertise it as. So this GTO is obviously white in color. Uh, it has the Krager 5 stars on it. Got a nice red pinstripe down the side of it that's going to uh, match the red interior uh, that we're going to show you here in just a minute. Uh, one chrome mirror on the driver's side, no mirror on the passenger side. I'll show you what's going to make this car even more desirable. If you look inside, there is a four speed center console bucket seat car. Obviously red interior. Check out the door panels uh, interior. They're in excellent condition. Uh, carpeting and the panel itself, armrests. Um, the red carpeting in the car uh, is in good condition. You have your rubber Pontiac floor mats. Those are in good shape as well. Take a look up at the headliner. Headliner's in good shape. You can see the uh, interior light there on the top on the roof is functioning. Looks like there is seat belts in the front, uh, Fisher body seat belts, probably the original seat belts in the car, no seat belts in the back. The vinyl all the way around the car, um, interior, front seat, back seat, all looks to be in good shape. Real good looking car on the inside. Uh, dashboard, I don't see any cracks, um, any fading. Wood grain all around the gauges looks to be in pretty good condition. When we take it on a test drive here in a little bit, we'll go ahead and See how many of those gauges work. Um, paint quality on the car is really uh, pretty good. Uh, it's a driver quality paint job, but I don't see, we'll take a look at it low when it's out on the lift, but I don't see any areas of concern on the top, uh, be it in the hood. Uh, there are, I'll show you a couple things on the very front of the hood, like stone chips or um, age over the years, but overall, um, you know, the deck lid, the roof, uh, the fenders, the doors, all the paint is in. Uh, good condition. Checking out the trunk, you do have a full size spare and buried down behind the uh, spare there is the jack. No trunk mat in the car, but you can see the uh, trunk is in great shape. Chrome on the rear bumper is in good condition. You'll have uh, dual chrome tips coming out right beneath the bumper, uh, right above the reverse lights there. Door fitment down both sides of the car is uh, pretty outstanding. The panels line up just like they should. It's a long bodied car and uh, the, the car is nice and straight down the sides and we'll show you a little bit more on that later as well. Uh, GTO emblem is on the passenger side rear fender just like on the drivers. Do have a little spot there where somebody brush touched. Just a tiny little spot, you can barely notice it, but it is there. Check out the door panels on the passenger side. Again, same as the driver's side, really high quality. As I mentioned earlier, all the vinyl in the car is in good shape. Even the uh, wood on the center console is in good shape. You know, that is where sometimes it has a tendency to show some wear and tear um, on different cars, whether it's GM or Mopar, but this one's in pretty good shape. Take a look underneath the carpeting there. I mean, the carpeting's in nice shape underneath the floor mats on both sides, passenger side and driver's side. Got your grab bar there, that's in good shape. Both compartments, nicely painted. Doors open and close with ease.
Chrome on the front bumper is the same as on the rear. These are either newer bumpers or they were exceptionally cared for. Just a nice, nice chrome on the bumpers. So here's what I was talking about with your chips. You know, there's right there, it can be brush touched a little bit. Um, and just on the hood a little bit, you can see somebody's brush touched a spot right there. But overall, real, real nice um, quality paint on the car all the way around. There we go. Uh, lifting up the hood, we have a zero AC, but we do have power steering and power brakes on this car. So the car has a lot going for it. Power steering, power brakes, um, date code correct 400, four speed, red interior, bucket seats, center console. Really, really a nice car. This one won't last, I can assure you that. GTOs are very popular in our dealership. We sell a lot of them, and this one will be no exception. I'm sure it'll be gone relatively quickly. So please um, do not wait. I can't tell you how many times people call and they're a day late or even an hour late. So watch the video, check out the photos, and give us a call. Um, right now we're gonna take it outside, throw it on the rack, and show you what the underneath looks like. Underneath our 67 GTO, you have disc brakes up front. Huge oil pan. Um, it starts in front of the cross member and continues on behind the cross member. But if you take a look up there close, there's no leaks at this time. Nice and dry. Now I say at this time because if you own one of these classic cars, you can expect there to be oil or tranny fluid or power steering fluid in the garage, especially if they sit for extended periods of time. It's just the nature of the beast owning these classic cars. The more they get driven, they actually the better they are in terms of leaks. They're meant to be run, and when they sit for long periods of time, or extended periods of time, they'll have a tendency to develop leaks here and there. So don't freak out. It's not like your 2020 vehicle. There will be spots of fluid in the garage from time to time. Floor pans in the car look to be outstanding. Uh, you're gonna see a dual set of mufflers coming down off the exhaust manifolds, um, Magnaflow, going to be dual uh, mufflers in the back on either side of the uh, drive shaft. All the lines look good running down the frame rails. Frame rails look to be in good shape. This is a great car. This would be a perfect car to add to somebody's collection. It's just a real nice. Whether it's your first classic car or whether you have a collection, it's, you know, it's a four-speed 67, um, you know, red interior. Uh, 400 motor, date code correct, 10 bolt rear, the rear is nice and dry, frame rails in the rear on either side of the gas tank. There's a dent in the gas tank, I don't know how people do that, I, it still amazes me, but nevertheless it's not affect, affecting the performance or the functionality, so that's the way we're going to sell it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this car down just a little bit and show you guys some more of the vehicle, but what I want to say is please, we don't just take my word for it, we encourage all of our buyers to come in person, drive the car, put your hands on it, see what you're buying. Um, this way when it shows up there's zero surprises. However, we do most of our deals per month, I would say about 95% of them sight unseen. Um, we don't please everybody but we do a pretty good job. Uh, we try to represent our vehicles accurately and as honestly as we possibly can. We try to show you everything, every um, attribute of the car and then every imperfection of the car as well so um, let's put it down just a little bit and take a look at um, some more of the characteristics of this vehicle but before we do that I do want to tell you uh, two things number one uh, we offer financing on these cars uh, generally the collect car lenders we work with will approve you on a five to ten year loan ten percent down minimum the remaining balance over five seven eight ten years whatever you get approved for you're going to have to come 10% of the purchase price out of pocket. The next thing is we offer a warranty with most of our vehicles in our showroom. What this warranty entails is 12 months, 12,000 miles good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. It covers engine, transmission, and rear end. You're going to have a $100 deductible and then the warranty company is going to pick up the remainder on a covered repair. We do have a tab on our website where you can read more about our warranty uh, policies and procedures. Uh, the next thing I want to address is that at full retail price, we offer the, the free shipping and the warranty. Um, so if we negotiate the price of the car, which we can certainly do, then we also negotiate the shipping and negotiate the warranty. 
So let's set this thing down a little bit further and I'll show you guys a couple more things before we take it out on the road. So the reason we have the 67 GTO halfway up in the air for you is because in the classic car business or in the classic car hobby, um, when you're referring to a vehicle being straight, um, what they're referring to is looking down the sides of the vehicle. Um, does the front fender line up with the door, line up with the rear fender, um, and is there a whole bunch of Bondo in the car or a whole bunch of subpar bodywork that causes waves either in the, in the uh, door panel itself or in the front or rear fenders. So if you look down the side of this GTO, by no means is it perfect, but you know it's a very nice straight car. Another thing is on the 67 GTOs, there has a tendency to these rocker panel covers that the GTO has, they're generally all dented up or scratched up. Um, again, these are not perfect, but they're in very nice condition. A lot of times classic cars with age will have, you know, rust issues or um, paint issues underneath the doors. As you can see, this is a driver quality car. We're selling it as a driver quality car, but if you check out the bottoms of the doors, they're nice and solid. They're not all rusted. The weather stripping's in good condition. The weather stripping's not all cracked up and deteriorating. We're gonna go around the other side of the car and kind of show you guys the same exact thing. Um, again, if you look low on the uh, rear bumper there, the chrome's nice, in nice condition. Before I step into the picture, I'm going to let Devin go ahead and shoot down the side of the car so you can see uh, the door fitment and the straightness to the front and rear fenders and then, you know, just the door itself. And you can see there's no uh, paint blisters cracking, um, deteriorating, you know, look, see there's a little tiny brush touch right here. I mean, you're talking about, a, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 year old cars that we're dealing with. Um, this one's in not real nice condition. Showing you the uh, passenger side door again. The weather stripping at the bottom is in good condition. Uh, you can see the carpet on the bottom of the door panels in good shape. Um, you know the the paint itself is not all rusted up, cracking up. Nice car all the way around. So we're going to take it out on the road right now and we're going to see how it runs. Um, again, we try to, going back to what I referenced earlier, 90% uh, of our deals are done sight unseen. We try to put you as close to the car as we possibly can and show you every last thing um, that would either be a selling attribute or a cause for concern on the vehicle. So um, we showed you uh, around the car, out on the showroom floor, underneath the car, down the sides of the car. Now we're going to take it out on the road and we're going to show you how the car runs. Inside our 67 GTO, all the way over on the driver's side, the fuel gauge is functioning. Show you the tack, that's working as well. Oil pressures and temp are both working. Temp's coming up and uh, oil pressure's where it should be. Tilt wheel on this baby, not something we're really used to, but this does have it. Horn. working on both sides. The radio does not work. We don't do radios, so when you get the car, it won't work. Turn signals, driver's side, and passenger side. Driver's side indicator works. Passenger side and driver's side both work on the outside, but the indicator light on the interior is out. So if it's just a bulb, we'll put a bulb in it. If it's more than that, if it involves tearing apart half the instrument cluster, we're going to leave it alone because you'll open up more problems. Um, wipers. Both speeds works on. I did not see this earlier. It looks like there is a small crack there in the dash. I did not see that inside, so that is there. The rest of the vinyl looks to be in good shape. Back seat. I don't see any rips or tears, or all four armrests are in good condition. Let's take it out on the road to see how it runs out. Well, the car drives as well as it looks. It has good acceleration. There's no excess noise in the uh, interior. There are no tire vibrations, drivetrain vibrations, nothing in the seat, in the floor, in the shifter. The speedometer is holding steady. I would say it's within a mile or two of accuracy and it's not bouncing around. 
RPMs functioning like they should be. Again, they're not bouncing around either. Car has good brakes on it. Good acceleration. So when people ask us or inquire about these cars, a lot of times we get asked, you know, what is the mileage on the motor? What is the mileage since the rebuild? Do you have any records of the restoration? And the answer is, um, if you see mileage displayed in the advertisement on our website, then it is an actual mileage car. If the mileage is blank, that means it's exempt on the title or TMU, true mileage unknown. Anytime we do have documentation on any of our vehicles, uh, whether it's receipts for repairs or um, pictures of the restoration or paint or any kind, we do present it in these videos. Uh, so the answer, do we have any documentation on this car? The answer is no. Um, so just so you know, if any of uh, the cars on our website have any kind of documentation, they will be presented in these videos. Before we run this thing through the gears and show you how it um, shifts and how much pull it has, I just want to tell you guys that um, we ship all over not only the United States but all over the world. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we do a lot of business sight on the scene. That's why we do these videos for you and take so many pictures of the car. Um, we've been very successful at it for a very long time. We would love to earn your business. We would love to have new customers. Uh, we, our customer base is growing uh, with each passing year, which is a great thing for us. But um, we make this process very easy for you. We have uh, uh, in-house shipping. Uh, we have a 12-month, 12 12,000 mile warranty on most of our vehicles in our showroom. Uh, we have three different lending institutions that'll give you a very easy loan on this car or any car you might be looking in in our showroom. Uh, so we have shipping, warranty, financing, we have the selection, we own all of our cars, we don't have to ask anybody's permission to sell them to you. Um, so there's a lot of reasons to choose Hangsters. There's a lot of people trying to do what we do, um, and there's a lot of other great dealers out there too. Um, but we try year after year to uh, buy high quality cars and earn more and more customers with each passing year as any small business tries to do. So uh, I'll take it up here and we'll run it through the gears a little bit for you. See what kind of pickup this GTO has. Well, we ran out of road. That's 65 and fourth. Plenty of pickup on this car. This car shifts just like it should. And we are in Florida. It is just about 90 degrees today. And check out our temp. Temperature is right where it should be. A great running car, great looking car. I'm telling you, do not hesitate. This car will not last long. Hankster's.com. Check us out.